Hello, hello! Welcome back to Ivana's Noshk Life. Today I will talk about how going through the from the PhD to associate professor in nine months. But actually, it's a bit more time than this. But this is what happened to me uh, in April two thousand twenty. I have defended my PhD degree. And on the 1st January of 2021, I started working as associate professor at the Norwegian University. And I will tell you today how I made it to that point, how actually I managed to get here. So let's start. So let's start from the very beginning. In 2013, this girl has moved from Ukraine to Norway. In Ukraine, I finished my master degree and in Norway, I started my second master degree. I moved in August and I was very active while I was, uh, my master, I, when I was a master student. I became a student representative. I uh, was actively involved in the presenting ideas from students how to improve the master uh, courses education when presenting kind of complaints. But instead of presenting just complaints from the students, I was right away proposing how to improve such courses. And then already in December 2013, I actually received that proposal from my uh, one of my professors to work as a research assistant for uh, with him. So I was helping him to write an article, large review article, and I was helping him to work on the research proposal. So this is uh, where everything has started. From December 2013, writing article and writing the proposal article and a proposal to get funding for the EU project. Proposal. Uh, in 2015, I finished, I graduated my uh, second master with the A. It's also important for your PhD. You need to have the highest grade possible, not less than B. So I graduated and uh, I, in my master, I was working in the, I did my master thesis uh, in the EU project where I was developing some stuff for their project. So then I was proposed to keep working as a research assistant from 2015 to 2016. It's, uh, I think, about nine months from August to March as a research assistant in the EU project. To finish up the project. Then in 2016, I think it was end of 2015, where it was opening for a PhD position in additive manufacturing, I applied. I went on the interview that was in Norwegian. Oh, I thought that I'm gonna die. And uh, I actually received this PhD position. So then all these four years from 2016 to 2000. 20, I was doing my PhD. So I received the four years PhD. In Norway, you have a possibility of having three or four years PhD. What does it mean? So it means that uh, during three years PhD, you only do your uh, research. During four years PhD, you have three years for your research plus 25% on duties. In my case, duties were teaching, uh, developing and teaching a master course to the most extent. And also I was helping with writing proposals. So quite a lot of work to do, right? In addition to doing your research, writing articles, and going to the conferences to present your articles, I was helping out uh, with other stuff as well. And then uh, in 2020, in April, I graduated. And for all of you, it is more interesting this part from the graduated PhD, graduated PhD, to the moment of becoming an associate professor 
in our university. So what did happen here? Actually, nothing uh, special has happened here. In reality, everything has happened starting from even a bit earlier than 2015. I think it started somewhere from 2014 and up to, oops, that doesn't look nice. So I would say that it started from 2014 and it went up, up to 2021. So what has happened here? This is what has happened. During uh, my time between 2020 and 2021, I was uh, working uh, as a researcher at my university. And actually during my work, what I did in reality as a researcher, you're supposed to do research, but in my university, they needed more personal for teaching. So that's why I actually helped them with teaching. I started teaching bachelor students in Norwegian, bachelor course, two courses actually in Norwegian. And I kept uh, teaching the same uh, master course uh, as I did in my PhD. It's not a regular uh, situation. It just has happened in my uh, institute because in my department, because we had a young master degree. And unfortunately, not all of our professors were capable or were in place. So therefore, it was an empty space for me to fill in. Uh, and I felt it and I worked hard to get there. So as you can see from 2014, to 2021, it's almost uh, seven years of a hard work that took me to go, that it looks like a nine months trip. So if you're in the place of starting your PhD and you want to end up as an associate professor, what should you do then? First of all, you need to be proactive. This is my recommendation to you, be proactive. What does it mean? It doesn't mean that it doesn't matter if you have your three year or four year PhD. Uh, you still can ask your supervisor if you can help with writing proposals. And for example, say that you are interested in helping in some teaching. And if there is a space at your institute or department, uh, just use it. If there is no, I think it doesn't hurt to ask. But remember that when you ask for this additional work, you still have to finish your PhD in time. PhD in time. So that's, I mean that you need to be proactive. You need to look for an empty spots in the uh, research uh, arena in the country where you are, if it's in Norway, uh, evaluate your university, evaluate other universities, look what they're searching for. For associate professor, you need to have uh, already experience writing proposals, uh, doing a teaching, publishing, of course, in uh, our journals and conferences. And conferences. And at least like this, unfinished PhD, of course. And knowing Norwegian would be a plus, because then it means that you can teach bachelor students. So try to build also a good collaboration in the uh, international community and be very proactive. This is my main, main uh, feedback to you. So I wish you good luck. And I hope you enjoyed this story. Thank you very much for watching it until the end. I hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to write your comments uh, and questions like the, like the video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon. Bye.